Let me smell you. It's... Oh, my God. I'm going to die, die, die. <laughs> nice. I nice. do love my husband, John, but that was lovely. <laughs> John. <laughs> Hi, I'm Topper Schroeder. I created Gendarme Fragrances. I'm Todd Smith, better known as LL Cool J, and I wear Gendarme Fragrances. And we're here to tell you all about this fragrance that we love so much. I had been wearing it for so long, and um, I, just, I just felt like, you know what, I just want to meet the people who are responsible for this. It was really... Uh, an unusual situation when all of a sudden LL Cool J walks through the door. His office had made an appointment for somebody named Todd Smith. I had no idea who Todd Smith was. At first there was no thought in my mind other than, hey, I just want to meet you and just tell you how much I, I'm, I, I tell you I'm a fan of the brand, I love the brand, I love the fragrance. And when Todd came through the door, he looked up at me and he said, are you Topper Schroeder? I said, yes. He says, Oh my God, my wife isn't going to believe I met you, which was a great introduction to somebody of his caliber. And then we started talking, and after meeting them, and after um, my manager Claudine met them, I, you know, I decided that, you know what, this might be something that I want to get involved in. But Evidently, he's been wearing the fragrances for over 16 years. His wife bought it for him at a store in Century City, and uh, he got hooked on it. He hasn't been worn anything else since. Because the brand is such a secret, and nobody knows about it, and I just think that I need—I have to share the love. You know, it's just one of those things. I'm a connector like that, so I just wanted to connect the world and the public with this brand. And uh, I jumped in with both feet, Topper and I, and Jonathan. We all discussed it, and uh, you know, figured it out. And here I am, uh, ambassador for my favorite brand. He understands the nature of branding. I mean, he's a very, very smart businessman. I'm, I'm. I, again, I am so fortunate to have him in. I just think we are two of the most fortunate people in the world, but we work at it. I agree with that. I agree with that wholeheartedly. It's deep, too. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Gotta love it. John Dom, baby. The scent is fresh, light, crisp, clean, it's subtle. You smell lemon and lime. Well, this is just the right amount of seasoning where you just smell good. The jasmine and the lilac. Finally, a lavender. Tonka, and it's got this little leather undertone. But it's not overpowering. It sure is good. <laughs> I'll actually brought you a bottle. <laughs> you get a bottle of John Dom. You're such a Are man you of kidding? style. I heard you're a man of style. You, you know, might want to smell that. I was going to say. I know it's a box, and this, we have to move quick in the first eight This has been one, of the, uh, been one of my dreams, to yeah. smell like LL Cool J. <laughs> oh, trust me. Trust <laughs> I mean, me. It's this... not a bad dream. Well, we've been with Norsons for 27 years, and there aren't very many brands that have ever lasted that long in a particular store. I want to see... Uh, Nordstrom embrace Jean Dom. I want to see the customers that go into Nordstrom's. I want to. I want them to know what this fragrance is about and what this fragrance represents, and uh, I want them to experience it because it's great. The people behind the counter at Nordstrom's are really, really important to this. Those, you know, everything that comes to us comes through their hands, and they've always been very, very good to us. It's hard to explain, but I know somebody almost behind every counter in every Nordstrom store across the country. Uh, and, uh, and the customers that go to Nordstrom, they'll just love Jean Dom. I think, you know, it, the fragrance wouldn't have been in Nordstrom all these years if it didn't work. And if people weren't into it and didn't like the fragrance. And I think that the fact that now we're putting a big push behind the fragrance and kind of taking it to another level positionally within Nordstrom, that's only going to bode well for Nordstrom and the Nordstrom, the people that shop there, because they're going to discover a brand that might have been right under their noses, no pun intended, and they didn't smell it. Somebody called me from New Jersey last week. They were walked into Freehold, New Jersey store, walked up to the counter and ordered their first bottle of gendarme, and the one behind the counter said, who sent you? So what do you mean sent us? He said, well, this is sort of the unofficial fragrance of Nordstrom's, but it's really, really a Nordstrom thing. And that sort of sums it up. I think I feel that way about Nordstrom's, and Nordstrom feels that way about us. Yeah. Yeah, it's my favorite cologne. This is I've your been, favorite cologne right here? Yeah, I've been here? wearing it for years, Jean Dom, and I got you some. You Thank can put you it so, in the I box. Don't, no, I just wear Old Spice. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is getting on a little right here. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Fresh, it's fresh, it's fresh. It's well, fresh. that's very nice. It's very nice. When I went on Conan O'Brien, um, I just went on Conan to kind of, you know, wanted to give him a gift. What could I give him? I thought about it. I said, you know what? I'll give him a bottle of Jean Dom. It's my favorite scent. It's real. Um, 
he had made a big move in his life and I figured this would be a cool way, you know, a cool gift to give him. I had no idea that he was going to spray it and smell it and love it and, and get into it, but he did and uh, now he's a fan of the brand as well. The most important thing I can say about John Darm is most fragrances are a love-hate situation. John Darm seems to be a love-like situation. Nobody hates it. You know, all of the people throughout the years that I was hugging and they were saying, oh, you smell so wonderful, you smell so great, oh man, you smell so good. I just want them to know why that is and what it is I was wearing and just kind of, you know, take the tarp, take the velvet tarp off this jewel that Topper created. The neat thing about the fragrance is that both men and women wear it. Uh, the first publicity I ever got was Sharon Stone telling the National Enquirer she trapped her men by putting a little gendarme on her fragrance as a fragrance before she put anything else on. And then all of a sudden, Deborah Messing starts wearing it and, and telling people about it. And uh, what was it? I guess it was uh, us. No, it was People Magazine that wrote that Shaquille O'Neal and Sharon Stone wore the same fragrance. I didn't know that. That was a fact they came up with. Uh, we do have a huge celebrity clientele, and I don't know why. I don't give it away. Oh, I take it back. Every once in a while, I'll do the luxury lounge at HBO. But most of the people coming in know it and have worn it. Uh, it's, it was amazing. Uh, Michael Imperiali, I mean, most of the people from The Sopranos who didn't know each other wore, wore it. Wore it. Uh, uh, of course, one of my biggest fans it was Billy D. Williams. And I ran into him in a dry cleaning. He's wearing my fragrance. I said, Mr. Williams, I'm flattered you're wearing my fragrance. He said, no, it's mine. I said, no, it's John Darm. He said, yeah, John Darm's my fragrance. I gave him my card. He looked at it and he says, no way. Yes, that was 20 years ago. We've been friends ever since. I'd just like to say to Nordstrom, you know, thank you for supporting Topper for 27 years. I hope that you'll support us for 27 more. And uh, we're going to do our best to make sure that your customers smell really, really good. And to all you people that shop at Nordstrom, enjoy Jean Dom. And all those people that shop at Nordstrom's.com, it's a great place to get your Jean Dom delivered to your door. Absolutely. So. Get your real reaction. You, you, you're you're going you're to feel it. Yeah. Yeah, watch, watch, watch his face. That is sexy. Yeah, see? <laughs> see? see? I, I have been gendarmed. <laughs> <laughs> and I like yeah. it. That is, uh, see? That is nice. We might be honest.